If you remember from the first time that I showed these two A Hope Gardens, both were planted with six out of the eight sites using bib lettuce. The garden on the left hand side was the one that I adjusted the light cycle to use the flowering and fruiting cycle of light which was warmer. The garden on the right hand side was set up using the vegetative light and that is a cooler spectrum. Both are full spectrum LED lights. What I had noticed in the first video is that the vegetative light did seem to do quite better with the bib lettuce. The flowering and fruiting light, on the other hand, only had a couple plants that came up, and one of which that survived. If you were to look down into the grow sponges, you could see some of the plants. The seeds had germinated, but quickly browned out. And this is the pod where the second plant actually ended up dying and withering. And this is the only surviving plant that is on that side. On the other garden, the bib lettuce was looking very lush and nice. It did not grow equally. For example, this lettuce that's on the corner of the unit was smaller than the central plants. I would say that this is eye-opening in terms of the gardens that I'm looking at right now, but out of curiosity, this plant in the back left corner has browned and is not looking very healthy at the moment. A another plant in the back corner on the other side is starting to show signs that it's not doing as well either. The water level on both of these gardens is currently at 2.5 liters. So it really has not dropped that much. I thought maybe I should check the roots and lifting the uh, deck lid there's nice white healthy roots on all the plants. The two pods that seem to have the smallest bib lettuce have not as many roots, but they are the same length as the more healthy plants. Out of all these, the plant in the back center seems to have the most robust set of roots. So as part of an adjustment on this experiment, what I'm going to end up doing, since these are the two nicer lettuce heads, is I'm going to take the uh, one out of the front and move that over to the center spot on the other garden. We'll try to put the roots down through the uh, hole in the top. As such, I would like to rule out a couple things. So let's uh, select one other plant. How about we take this guy and we'll put that into the front position on the other garden. So now there's one, two, three there. And on the right hand side, there's three also. I'm going to remove a couple of the leaves. I'm wondering whether or not the position of the plant in the garden has any bearing on the outcome. So now that I've, I've done that, I'm going to take the uh, plant and put into the center hole in this front. And there you have one, two, three plants, one, two, three plants. These on the right hand side seem like they're a little bit more robust. And now, 
for kicks. I'm going to take the garden on the left and switch it over to the vegetative light, which immediately appears bluer. And the garden on the right-hand side, I'm going to switch it over to the more yellow, warmer light. And we'll find out whether that has any bearing on the growth of these plants now that the variables have been changed around. And here's what you've been waiting for is the follow-up to the testing. And I'd like to start out by summarizing that I will probably reset the test and retest between warm and blue lights, otherwise known as vegetative or fruiting lights. The two units that you see before you are what I had featured in a previous video. And what I have done is I have tested the vegetative to the flowering lights. Originally, uh, the conclusion was that the vegetative uh, lights did seem to do substantially better than the warmer uh, light. Now, that in mind, what I ended up doing was uh, I tried to rule out the garden influence. And so I took uh, three lettuce plants, actually two from here to put over here to make three in this side and three on this side. And so in addition to that, I flipped the lights. And so while this one was vegetative and was doing quite well, I switched it over to the warm spectrum. And while this one was the warm spectrum, I switched it over to vegetative just to rule out the individual gardens as influencers on this testing. And what I found out was a little bit surprising. And that was uh, number one, that the warm spectrum does seem to do uh, very well and there's really not that much difference between warm or cool spectrums on the uh, full spectrum LED lights. The uh, one that is slightly more bluish does uh, appear to have a little bit better growth, but I would not uh, call that um, a, a large amount of difference. Now, what um, I did find out was that the uh, plant that it was originally in this garden on the corner has not grown much, even though it looks healthy. And the two lettuce plants that I pulled from this garden, as you see how nice these look, uh, have kind of uh, withered up and flattened out on the surface. So there is something that is uh, going on with this particular garden. It may have a defect of some kind. And just looking at first at the uh, diodes at the top, the diodes are all active. And if I were to pick up the deck, the uh, roots have gone from white to brownish. Now, the pump seems like it's fine. There's something going on. I don't know if there's um, some sort of cycling on that pump or if there's any kind of electrical influence, but it's uh, fair enough to say that this particular garden unit has some sort of failure with it. Now, on the other hand, even this garden that seems to be doing quite well uh, does seem to have a small pump for the size garden that it is, and it does have uh, optimal growing spots on it for smaller plants like a smaller uh, head of lettuce and the spots that seem to whatever reason grow the best on these two gardens would be number one the back center number two the front center and number three the front left uh, corner of the unit the other spots that are on the garden I did six out of eight sites, did not seem to do as well. And so that in mind, I would probably uh, want to retest this using a couple different gardens, um, same models, of course, but I'd like to be able to rule out this particular brand name when it comes to rerunning the test. So now you know what I know.